Alrighty, well, good morning everybody in cast time once again. And let me go ahead and right away start by uh, introing this music here. This is Rhoda Fortune Hinterland. I don't know much about it. I was just kind of scrambling around for uh, something to play during my cast. Uh, this came up. Um, there are some other thing. There are some other things um, I could have chosen, but I pretty much, I pretty much played them all during my stream, so I didn't really feel like playing them twice. So, okay, I just scrambled around a little bit, and this came up. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. Um, but otherwise, for the most part, last night and today, just. Basically sat around, um, watched various stuff. I didn't go into work. Um, towards the end of my stream, I started getting a sore throat, and my sinuses started plugging up. And then later on, and then later on after the stream, the right side of my head started hurting, like maybe I had a migraine or something. Let me pause. Let me pause. I fucked up. Hold on. I could have sworn I shut that off. Yeah, I messed it up. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, I forgot to turn off my uh, external speaker, so. Good thing I caught it in time. So, but anyway, um, let me try that again. I'll go and start it over. But, anyway. Um, but otherwise just sat around and, and just kind of rewind back a little bit. Um, I didn't go into work. Like I said, towards the end of my stream, I was getting a sore throat. Uh, sinuses are plugging up. And then ap sometime after that, the right side of my head started hurting. Like kind of, like I had a migraine or something. So, um, eventually all the symptoms went away. But yeah, I figure discretion would be the better part of Valor and just not come in. So. Um, but otherwise, I did spend a good chunk of time, though, playing Gems of War. And speaking of that, let me uh, plug the controller back in. Okay, there we go. So, playing a lot of Gems of War. Um, like yesterday, just ran a wide variety of stuff. Just from from low level easy clear content to to high level content to doing some PvP, uh, just a little bit of everything, and um and then and then this morning I kind of find out I kind of found out that apparently I thought the daily started at 2 a.m. my time. Apparently not. I think they start between midnight to one, so that kind of threw me off. So I found that out and just got going on the dailies. I think I got most, if not all, of them done. So when I, when I stream today, I could just go, I could just go right into the grinding, um, doing what I can to start unlocking up. But for those that don't know, it's it's no weekend or basically Noma Palooza. Is that's your ultimate goal? Um, various gnomes are going to start participating in all in all the battles or. Their likelihood has increased, and um, some of these gnomes are musicians. If you, if you um, if you manage to kill all four, all four different gnomes, you'll you'll get uh, all four pieces of sheet music. You'll be able to activate what's called Noma Palooza, which uh, for 15 minutes, all of your battles are going to involve gnomes. And and once again, for for those that for those that don't know what this mode is, but uh, or for those that don't know about gnomes in Gems of War, they're um they're just they're rare enemies you fight, you kill them, they actually drop some pretty important loot, sometimes loot that you can't get anywhere else. So, but anyway, if you um if you kill if you kill all four of these musician gnomes, they drop sheet music that unlocks a gnomapalooza. You just gotta so. 
You just gotta hop in and do that. Gotta, you gotta stay as busy as possible. And again, like I said yesterday, for um, a lot of the, a lot of the content in this game, dumb. There's no. The, the the drop table or the drop rates for some of these uh, for some of the currencies and XP and whatnot that you get is gonna be the same no matter what content you do so you just you got a Nolan Palooza you go right to the rock bottom easy kill content stuff you can kill in one turn and again it's quantity over quality so so I've just been doing like but like I said I've just been doing that. But uh, I think uh, during my stream, I managed to do two Noma Paloozas. Um, since that time, I don't. I think I probably came across a small smattering here and there. But uh, there was also. No, wait, wait. Let me back up. I'm trying to. Yeah, there's. I was just coming across a few gnomes here and there. Um. I think I got maybe I have enough I got enough for maybe one maybe two more Noma Palooza events so um but otherwise outside of that one thing I definitely did those uh I kept on watching this gameplay video of siphon filter like this guy he's going through the whole entire storyline and everything you know um, Back in the 90s, early 2000s, I think. This is one of my favorite games. I played the living hell out of it. Um, I either and either I used the Game Shark and or uh, used the in-game cheats. But uh, and I don't think I beat the game. But I again, I went on. I used an in-game cheat to see all the cutscenes. So I already I already know the ending. Um, but yeah, so watching this was like a trip down memory lane. So, and then also I found out I just found out or I just remembered um, like an hour or two ago that Steam is having a sale, and I went on there and then one of the things I bought that came up was a. Uh, it's a fighting, it's a 2D fighter called Melty Blood, Actress Again. Um, I, I, I actually streamed this once for like a, I think, it, I think an hour and a half. Uh, but I don't remember why I didn't like it. Uh, apparently I, uninst I, I think I got a refund and uninstalled it. I don't know why I did. The only reason I can think of is, uh, is maybe because it cost like 20, 30 bucks at the time. And I thought, figured the money could have been better used elsewhere. But I mean, it's. I mean, it's a to me, it's, it's a good game. It. Hold on, let me, let me find out real quick when it came out. I, I want to say the uh, mid two thousands. Yeah, um, two thousand eight. So that's that's when it came out. You know, so but like like I said, I don't I don't even remember why I uninstalled it. Like the only reason I could think of is maybe because it was so expensive and it didn't really wow me or anything. So I ended up getting a refund, but otherwise it's not a bad game. Um But um should have prepared better but one thing I did definitely like about this game is it's, it's the only one that I could think of where um in the um in the lower left and lower right corners of the screen it shows you what all your motion inputs are what all your special moves that helps because I got a bad memory and I'm, I'm new to this game so I don't know what does what You know, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm pretty sure that the I'm pretty sure that these special moves are the same for all the players. But you know, still, it's it's nice to have. 
know, whereas uh, most other most other fighting games I play, they don't do this. In order for me to find out what a move does, I gotta stop, pause the game, go on the menu, select uh, was it? select command list. You know, scroll up and down, try to you know find out what the commands do. You know, and then uh, and then go back in, you know, go back into the match, keep playing some more, until eventually. I forgot what I forgot what this other move was and gotta go back pause the game go to the command list oh okay that's what that move is okay I totally forgot go back into the you know you know kind of a rinse and repeat whereas you know it's really nice that Melty Blood has the move list already out there so you can see it so so yeah I think more game more games need to do that but, but kind of like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Shadow or Mistara, the other game that I got. I want to stream this again at some point. I just don't know where. Because uh, I don't, I don't really stream twice a day anymore. I mean, something it would be, it would be have to be an absolute all hands on deck type game or type situation for me to do it, because. The later in the evening it goes, the fewer people that are on. And it really isn't worth my while to stream at that time because no one's on. It's, it's like a waste of effort. And I think back when I streamed pinball, um, like consistently, like twice a week, um, I used to do it around 2.30 a.m. But even then, few if any people would show up until like around like around uh, 7 a.m. But, you know, when all of a sudden this huge influx of people would show up. But, like I said, by the time 7 a.m. rolls around, I gotta shut down. You know, I gotta, you know, shower, shave, and lay down for, you know, lay down for the day. So this really created a lot of problems. So, yeah, so these days I only stream once a day. So that that's kind of the problem I'm having. Otherwise, I'd, I'd freaking love to do these more often. Seems like I picked a good album here. It's like all instrumental acoustic guitar. And I forgot to mention too at the start of this at the start of this cast, I'm hoping this isn't copyrighted. Um, I looked at the description, it didn't it didn't say anything about uh licensed to YouTube by some company or anything like that. I didn't see a, a little copyright symbol like 2021 something or another associates, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping I'm safe. But, but anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so that'll do her. Um, but Thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody, though. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.